Um, Namaste everyone, welcome to Hindi University. Um, really excited to have all of you uh, this Sunday. Um, as you know, my name is Ashutosh and we meet every Sunday uh, 8 a.m. U.S. Pacific time, um, which is time on the west coast of the U.S. Uh, to learn about the Hindi language. Uh, for those of you who are uh, new to Hindi University, you can learn more about us by going to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Hindi University. Um, if you are inter interested in joining our live interactive session that we have every Sunday, you can find all the details on this page, which is tiny.cc slash Hindi University. And uh, because this page has so many details, uh, you know, you requested me to make a small video on how to navigate this. So, so now you have the video as well. So I really recommend you to watch that 20 minute video, which will tell you all the details about, you know, how to join the uh, the live classes that we have, the books that we've been following, and also the practice session that we have on a, uh, so you are welcome to join um, on a regular basis. Um, as you know, uh, we've been following two books beginner level as well as the, the advanced level. So we're following like Pingu Learns Hindi for complete beginners as well as Advanced Hindi Grammar by uh, Professor Usha Jain, right? So those are the two books that we've been following. Um, and uh, we will continue to do that. And uh, in the last class, we picked up a new topic called Hindi Conjunction. Right? Hindi Conjunction. My goal is that this topic itself is gonna take us a few weeks. Uh, so we will uh, continue to strengthen that, you know, I want to make sure I can mute everyone so there's no, why don't you all control your, you know, voice as well, so that's why there's no background echo, etc. Okay, um, so we will continue to spend more time on this topic. Um, some of you may recall who attended the previous class that, uh, you know, Hindi conjunction. Okay, I hope you can hear me. Uh, Hindi conjunctions are used, you know, basically to to join or combine two or more sentences, right? Um, and uh, it's a very important one. Uh, you know, they are used. I'm going to write down the definition and uh, just a little bit background of what we covered in the previous class, right? So we were talking about Hindi conjunction. They are used to join words phrases and clauses right uh, and uh, we spent uh, learning about some of the conjunction in the previous class and I told you like you know there are three bigger level classification when we talk about in the conjunctions we talk about like you know uh, uh, you know the, the coordinate conjunction so we have like coordinate we have coordinate conjunction, then we have a uh, subordinate, and then we talk about correlative, correlative conjunction, okay? Within that, when we were talking about it, we learned about primarily coordinate conjunction. And today also the goal is, like we will spend time more, more time on the coordinate conjunction. In the previous class we learned about you know, and, right? Similarly, we spoke about or, okay? And then we also went over but, and then rather not or not. Right, so when you want to join two words or phrases or clauses using and, you know, you, you learned about or, Right? Ram or Sham. Right? We learned about some of the other synonyms as well, such as like, you know, Tatha, Evam and Ver. Right? And we spend more time on it. Similarly, you want to say like, you know, Chai or Coffee. Right? So we learned about how to use Ya. Right? Uh, ya to main Italy jaunga, ya main, you know, uh, uh, Paris jaunga or something like that, right? So we learned about like using ya and then synonyms around it such as athwa and ki. Right, so we had athwa, which is a little bit more formal and ki, which is very colloquial. Right, chai ki coffee, right? And what will you have like chai or coffee? So we spent time on that as well. 
Uh, this one is you, most of you were already familiar with it, such as like Lakin, Kintu, Parantu, Magar, right? Uh, again, like you, you have as you are making progress, you want to have longer sentences and you want to combine them using some grammatical constructs, and that's when you will use uh, but, right? And when the first one is sort of like you know. Uh, you you want to give an explanation of why you know you you cannot really do something like but I have uh, an office tomorrow right so that's why I cannot come right uh, but लेकिन बहुत बारिश हो रही है like you know लेकिन बहुत like you know but there is a lot of rain going on okay but I'm really busy like लेकिन मैं बहुत व्यस्त हूँ okay so we spend time on it I really encourage you to kind of like these are like Definitely, I would put them into the, in the beginner to intermediate level, like at least the first three. Okay, but uh, conjunctions are very complex. They may sound simple, but as you make progress, you will continue to to see more and more advanced usage of, usage of it, right? So today, I'm going to spend on rather not, which we did very briefly in the previous class, and then another important one, conjunction called uh, isliye. Okay, isliye. Uh, this one itself is very important. You will see uh, colloquially it is used pretty pretty frequently, even in 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 you know in the formal way as well, right? So both ways. So bunch of the time, uh, bulk of the time in the class will be spent on using isliye. And my goal is that you have a pretty good grasp of how to use isliye uh, in your day to day conversation. Okay. But before that, let's just quickly recap the the rather not. Or not. Okay, so let me raise it. So let's say you have, you have like you know, um, a scenario where you want to say, I will drink. कॉफी, not चाय, और rather not चाय, rather, rather not चाय, okay, uh, I will, I will go to, I will go to Italy, not, uh, let's say, Mexico. Okay. Essentially, you are joining the two, two sentences using not. Okay. Um, typically, when you learn about not, you know, you think of nahi. But these are not the sentences where you will be using nahi. You will be using a conjunction. Okay. Um, let's see who already may know about it. Someone would like to volunteer it. Mahaji, you want to? Tell us how will you use the first sentence? How will you say the first sentence in Hindi? I will drink coffee, not chai. Uh, make uh, coffee, p p o g. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, ch chai nahi. Okay, okay, you can say that. Make coffee, piungi, chai nahi. Okay. But if you want to use a conjunction, in addition to what you said, you can also say na ki. That is the conjunction you can use. So you have a na with a and then you have a ki. Now try it again. Me coffee piyongi na ki chai. Very good. Na ki chai. Awesome. Okay. But as you, you try, you know, the your way, you can completely say that. Grammatically, that's absolutely right. You can say... मैं मैं कॉफी पीऊंगी चाय नहीं पीऊंगी ओके इट्स एसेंशियली यू नो मैं कॉफी पीऊंगी मैं चाय नहीं पीऊंगी टू सेपरेट सेंटेंसेस यू आर कंबाइनिंग देम यूजिंग कंजंक्शन ओके नाउ ट्राई दिस वन सो मस्त राम जी यू वांट टू टेक अ स्टैप एट दिस वन आई विल गो टू इटली नॉट मेक्सिको मैं इटली जाऊंगा ना कि मेक्सिको वेरी गुड मैं इटली जाऊंगा ना कि मेक्सिको अमेजिंग ओके 
anyone else would like to try that use of uh, naki in your sentence you can write it in the chat um, and somebody who's still having difficulty please don't be shy we are still on this topic so would love to add more and more examples there so everyone is feeling comfortable Miraji, you want to take a stab at it? I, um, I, I will, but I have a question. I didn't, wasn't in, I wasn't here last week. So what, what about, um, where does the Isliye come in? We'll come, right, not... we'll come right after this, we'll go to Isliye. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Not, we have not covered Isliye so far. Okay. Right now, it's um, just Naki. No problem. Yeah. Me... Um, ice cream, kaungi, naki, uh, chocolate. <laughs> okay, very good. My ice cream, kaungi, very good. So you have my man, ice cream, kaungi, naki, chocolate. Okay, anyone else? Okay, Mehindi Actually, yeah, go Mali, for it. I, I just joined. Could huh? you just explain that Naki for me? Yeah, um, so Naki is like, you know, you have two sentences, okay, and you want to join them using a conjunction. In the previous class, we learned about how to join them using and, such as like, you know, or, right? So Tom or Jerry, right? We also learned about, you know, the conjunction, ya, yeah, right? Chai, ya, yeah, coffee. Chai or coffee. Okay. But you have two uh, contradicting sentences. Like, you know, where you want to say, I will drink coffee. And you want to say, I will not drink chai. One way would be you say them separately. Main coffee piunga, main chai nahi piunga. Or alternatively, you can say, even in English, I will drink coffee, not chai. So not is really used as a conjunction and to, to help you reduce two sentences and just say it in one sentence, right? Similarly, in Hindi, the equivalent of that is naki. Okay, so you can say, my coffee piyungi naki chai, which is same as I will drink coffee, I will not drink chai. Or you can say, my itli jaungi, I will not go to Mexico, okay? Alternatively, you can say, I will go to not Mexico. Does it make sense, uh, Mala? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank okay. you. Awesome. Yuni ji, yes, go for it. Yes, Yuni. Yeah, go for it. I will go to Hindi sleeping. Okay, okay, awesome. So you want to really say, main, um, so two, two ways to say that, right? So either you can say, I Ashu ke saath padungi. Okay, na ki. So one way would be you want to emphasize with the person, right? So second one would be either you can say, I Ashu ke saath Hindi padungi, na ki, let's say, Omar ke saath. Okay, that's one way to do that. Or the other way is like you want to emphasize the activity. Main padungi na ki songi. I hope that makes sense, uh, Uni. Right? One is that you know you. Oh. One is like you want to okay. show the the contrast with the you know I want to you know go out with a person, not this person, versus the 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 verb that you are showing the contrast. You can do both ways. Right. So your sentence is correct. I'm just trying to add more to it, like how you can show the contrast. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, awesome. Anyone else? ji, so good to have you. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> you want to take a, a, a attempt at it? I was thinking the same. Hindi padungi naki. Songi, wonderful. Main Hindi padungi naki songi, wonderful. Sharmila ji, go for it. It's similar, but main Hindi sikungi naki koi or bhasha. Okay, main Hindi sikungi naki koi or bhasha. Okay, wonderful. Anyone else? Raise your hand and feel free to go ahead. Okay, 
ओके विद्या जी यू वांट टू ट्राई इट आउट अच्छा मैं हिंदी पढ़ूंगी ना कि उर्दू उर्दू ओके ओके ऑसम लेट्स सी शीला जी अम मैं की चाप पढ़ूंगी ना कि अखबार ओके मैं किताब पढ़ूंगी ना कि अखबार आई विल रीड द बुक नॉट द न्यूज़पेपर सुनीता जी मैं दो, दो, ना कि योगा करूंगी ओके ओके मैं दौड़ूंगी ना कि योगा ऑसम यू यू वांट टू से से वन मोर थिंग थिंग या इज़ दिस फॉर द फ्यूचर नो 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 सेम यू नो मैं हमेशा और मैं आई यू वांट टू से लाइक मैं मैं चाय पीता हूँ ना कि कॉफी राइट आई मीन यू कैन से द सेम थिंग दैट आई जनरली ड्रिंक चाय नॉट कॉफी राइट यू कैन से यू नो इन एनी टाइम यू कैन से इन पास राइट मैंने कॉफी पी ना कि चाय या राइट सो सो सेम थिंग यू कैन से इट इन मल्टी वाई डोंट वी ट्राई दैट एक्चुअली वाई डोंट वी ट्राई सम सेंटेंसेज इन द पास एन सारा यू वॉन्ट ट्राई इट आउट सारा जी Make it a little bit complex because you are advanced level. So I can try. <laughs> um, past tense. Um. Let's say you went to you... Let's say you went to India and you somebody asked you like where did you go and what did you see, like they may uh, go all over the map and you're like I focused on only on these 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 area and not the other parts. It works. It works totally fine. Okay, you can say that. I, I, I went to North India, not South India, right? I mean, so you can say, or you can also say, I have, I have, you know, Taj Mahal, or uh, Kutub Minar, or uh, you know, uh, Jaisalmer, Guma, Naki, you know, and then the other places that you did not visit. You can say that as well. Right. So that's absolutely fine. Okay. Okay. The verb at the second. So if I say, may Scotland gaya gayi, but. Huh? Uh, Naki Bharat. So huh? I went to Scotland, not India. Would I need the Gaia Gaia again? Oh, so the question is, man. Scotland. So they cancel my trip. Um, yeah. What do Gai. you think, man? Scotland Gaia. Then I want to say Naki India. Bharat or India. Uh huh. And that's it, right? I wouldn't need another Gaia. You, yeah, you you don't need another Gaia. Okay. It's okay. redundant. It's implies that you know you are basically right. you know. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else? Any questions on this one? I hope it's not that difficult for. But but. Actually, you, yeah. Like, net eight seventy. So is this? It it is like I did. I I do this. I do not do this. Yes. Versus, I went there rather rather than or instead of. Is it not? Like I, I'm just trying to see if it's um, could you interchange it with instead of or rather than or is that separate? It's I it, I think in the Hindi users for the most part use them interchangeably. So you know if you want to say uh, let's take the other example that you have in the mind and let's apply there. So you want to say instead of instead of India, I went to. Let's say Japan, right? Is that what you have in mind? Yeah, just that, like yeah. in the last sentence that Rita G gave, um, you, you know, even on hers where she said, "I um, I went to Scotland instead of India," because it's, it's slightly different, a little connotation, right? In English, like yeah, I I was thinking of two things, but instead of that, when I went to that one, whereas yeah, so I mean, you know, if you want to be specifically. You know, instead of you will end up using की जगह मैं इंडिया की जगह जापान गई, right? Okay. If you, if you want to be really like that to to reflect in your sentence, okay? But you know, 
like you had two choices before and you chose this one versus the other one might be a correction of someone saying, oh, where did you go in India? In Saraji's example, I went to Northern India, not Southern India. So the latter part where you want to like, you know, you want to correct, you know, correct someone that's more closely for this word. Like my India, gai na ki, uh, right. you know, that, right. that, that applies better basically when you want to show. Right. So yeah, kind of like instead of this where you have two choice, there's no choice, I guess, involved in the first one. In other words, really. that's right. That's right. That's right. If that helps you, that's right. There's no choice involved. You are simply saying, you know, um, you know, I, the facts basically. Okay, yeah. so if we're on a flight and it's, you know, diverted somewhere, then you will use the Kijaga. It's like, that's right. right. Instead right. of India, I went to Japan. That would be Kijaga. So. Yeah, I drink tea in the place of coffee pita hu, versus, you know, I drink tea in the coffee, right? To, to, I mean, in that yeah. sense, there is definitely a, a difference in both the sentences, right? Um, Asuji, yeah? is it not that you replace, you, you replace uh, chai for coffee in Hindi? That's right. I mean, uh, ki jagay, again, like we're getting, getting, getting into the, the details of key jagay, but instead of, yeah, I mean, that's, that's essentially it, right? What you're saying instead of, instead of coffee, I drink, um, I drink chai. So you, you're just adding more explanation, right? Or are you asking question there with Delhi? Oh no, I uh, uh, Jada, uh, I understand like that that yes. you replace something for something else. That's right, right? I mean, in instead both again, right? I mean, you can replace as well, like the you know as well as like instead of. I'm just trying to like put some categories there. So let's write down the examples that you mentioned, like instead of instead of tea, I will have coffee right so say how will you say that uh, with the idea i would say uh uh mujhe uh, uh coffee chai na ki chai okay 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 <laughs> i would say that in hindi okay uh, anyone else So I I would say instead of mujhe, tea, yeah. Mujhe chai ki jaga, um, coffee piu da ya piu ji. Okay, man. Okay. Uh, I mean, again, you can use both of them, right? It really depends on you know how you want to convey. Okay. In my mind, you can say both of them, right, man? You can say, man, I will have coffee. Man, coffee piunga. I think we are getting a little bit. I can say this one. I will drink my coffee piunga naki chai. Okay. Uh, and then second one is main, I will have instead of my chai ki jage, my chai ki jage, my chai ki jage, coffee piunga. Okay. Now let's dig deeper into it. My chai ki jage coffee piunga. In this one, I mean, again, you can say both of them, but this one, it can still mean that you, it's not that you don't like chai at all, but you are preferring, you prefer, prefer to have chai over coffee. That's this one. Okay. And this one is also my coffee piunga naki chai. It's basically, you know, uh, I mean, I'm con conveying the same thing, my coffee piunga, but not chai. But now help me here. I have both of it in front of you. You can ask me the situation and I'll tell you which. To me, it, it, they both come naturally. Right? Uh, Asuji, are you huh? okay. go, go. Yeah, go for it, Vidya. No, go. Go, go. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I got thrown off the internet. Uh, by the lovely electrical grid here. So I'm just got, coming into this new, so I had, uh, I just think of it as a, as a, a replacement. Like um, I, uh, I come the sentence together, major purpana chalki nanki autoala. Okay, okay. Let's Is that good? Or, say one does more that time. make sense? Say one more time, man. 
मैं जयपुर पेरो और नाकी नाकी ऑटो ऑटो रिक्शा की जगह पैदल चलूंगी यू कैन से सेम सेंटेंस यू कैन से इट बोथ वेज राइट आई मीन इन माई माइंड आई थिंक आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द अंडरलाइंग confusion that you know some or the additional question that some of you may have um but so ji i was thinking uh-huh. when you have a meal in the restaurant and they have something a dish and you want to replace it then you say my mutton ki jagah yeah uh, uh chawal yeah something else yeah. yeah yeah you can say that right i mean when you, I, mm. yes I I mean again, so there is definitely a lot of overlap in Naki and Ki jagah, but I don't disagree that there are exclusive usage of Naki and there are exclusive usage of Ki jagah, which you are saying, Vidya ji as well. Like you know, when you want to explicitly mention, you know, replacement, right? Um, so let's say you want to say like you know, uh, chai ki jagah, coffee pilo. right mm-hmm. because i don't have the 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 chai patti chai ki jagah coffee pee lo now i cannot replace this ki jagah with naki that's an exclusive use of ki jagah okay can you say can you say boli that last thing you just said so let's say you come to my house and you're like ashu ji i want to have chai and i ask you i tell you like you know i don't have you know tea so chai ki jagah okay coffee chalegi Aha, that's right. That's okay. the replacement I'm offering you. Now, that's the explicit use of ki jagah. I cannot replace this with naki. I'm really forcing myself if if I want to come up with a sentence like where I just want to replace it and just force to use naki. Does it make sense? I hope it it conveys like you know. So, think of it as a Venn diagram. There's a big overlap in in naki and ki jagah, but there is separate use of both of them. Still thinking, yes, yeah, Daniel. yeah, of course, awesome. I mean, if any anyone has better explanation, feel free to to share your thoughts, right? I mean, it's it's always good to see things from your perspective, learner's perspective, right? Yes. So, I have a question. Yes, so, go for it. Which one is more used and has broader usage? Yeah, a key jaga is more common, for sure. Okay. Key jaga is very common. Like key jaga, you will colloquially, you know. Hear it all the time. Yeah, but as I said, like there are explicit usage of like you know, um, naki, right? I mean, where you will use naki as well. Um, okay, so we'll move to uh, isliye. And any more questions? I want to make sure that you know it's um, at least the at the broad level it is clear how to use naki. Okay. Takes a while. Takes huh? a while on my pass. Okay. Uh, the ki jaga, ki jaga. Uh huh. Can you say ki jaga me? Ki jaga me. You can say that. Yes, ki jaga me. Yeah. In, pla- in place of yes. So, I'll move on. Now we will do about isliye. Isliye. So you have isliye. So. It's the is primarily used when you are talking about reason and result. So I'm going to write down some uh, examples first, and then we will we will sort of like you know learn how to use the Hindi sentences. Okay. So let's say you have a simple sentence where you want to say I wasn't I wasn't enjoying the movie. I wasn't enjoying the movie. Okay, so I went home. You see that you have two sentences. First one is I wasn't enjoying the movie, and second sentence I went home. Right? You have two separate sentences, and now 
what you have done is you have combined them using so which is essentially you can say same thing with using so or you can have therefore or you can have that's why or you can have consequently right this sentence i wasn't enjoying the movie sentence 1 i went home but they join using so okay this is the result of first one second sentence is the result of the first one first one is the 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 the, the reason okay look at the second sentence now which is basically the team wasn't playing well the team wasn't playing well and let's say you want to say it lost okay um there's a comma but you know there is an implied so and therefore that's why or consequently they lost i hope it makes sense right the second sentence also right uh now let's look at the the third scenario okay give me one minute i'm give it one more scenario so it's uh, super clear okay so let's look at sam wasn't feeling well so let's say you have sam wasn't feeling um sam wasn't feeling well and therefore or that's why or consequently or so she went home or hospital so you see that there are two sentences uh, essentially in the three examples that we covered all of them the first one is showing the reason second one is showing the result okay and all of them are sort of connected using these um, conjunctions or additional keywords some of them are nouns some of them are sort of your know, adverbs in hindi if you want to do the same thing you will be using the uh, keyword called isliye okay isliye okay now how do you really get isliye here okay so i'm going to um, erase it i hope all of you at least was were able to write it down so if you look at it it's essentially it's saying for that for that for that reason i hope all you you all agree it's basically all the sentences it's the underlying thing for that reason you know the team lost or for that reason she went home for that reason she went home basically when she was not enjoying the movie okay uh masram ji how do you say for in hindi say okay and then other one basically like you know for you or kelly okay very good like there right very good liye okay what about like that you have, you have this yeah yes very right? you have or for this reason let's say you have in front of you for this reason this year yeah no no so just this how do you say this in hindi Uh, yeah yeah very good right yeah. when you have yeah into an oblique case it becomes s s you see that and now for is basically nothing but liye so both of them are combined together and it becomes a combined word called isliye and both academic like you know formally and informally it is used quite popularly but underlyingly is underlying it's basically nothing but yeah in oblique case combined with liye which is telling you for that reason okay team wasn't playing well for that reason it lost sam wasn't feeling well okay for that reason she went home okay uh, i wasn't enjoying the movie for that reason i went home that's 
it you may not say it in that way in 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 english but that's the underlying tone there and that's why I use use isliye any, any any questions so far before before we think about uh, in, yeah asuji is yeah. is that uh, synonymous with ke karan ke karan yes that's right for that reason is nothing but ke karan yes okay yeah anyone else any questions or thoughts before we think about translation okay so think about this one all we are doing is so therefore that's why or consequently okay or for that reason now i'm going to start with very simple sentences and you want to say for that reason i won't go to i won't come to your house or therefore therefore i won't i won't come to your house i want all of you to try it out i didn't write the the reason reason could be anything you can feel free to take luxury of writing reason as well if you feel uh, comfortable but at least i want you to try write down this one. therefore therefore i will not come to your house you can use the chat or the facebook chat to share that can someone uh, who is watching on facebook can you share whether it is uh, public right now or is it only <laughs> you cannot see it i want to make sure it's uh... okay you can see it good job right so let's see how are you guys doing it therefore i will i won't come to your house let's see how you guys are doing it okay uh sheila ji you want to give this one a try इसलिए इसलिए मैं 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 आपका आपका घर 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 नहीं नहीं आऊंगी। आऊंगी। ओके एंड देन यू सेड आपके आपके आऊंगी वेरी गुड आऊंगी सो फर्स्ट वन इज आई विल कम मैं आऊंगी ओके सेकेंड वन इफ यू वॉन्ट मेक अ वेरी सिंपल सेंटेंस आई विल कम इज लाइक मैं आऊंगी I will not come. मैं नहीं आऊंगी ओके आई विल कम टू योर हाउस मैं आपके घर यू नो आऊंगी एंड देन आई विल नॉट कम टू योर हाउस मैं आपके घर नहीं आऊंगी ऑल यू हैव सेड इज फॉर दैट रीजन आई विल नॉट कम टू योर हाउस वॉट कुड बीन आपका The same, like plural. That's why you have K instead of K. That's right. Ah. So, so okay. It, it would be tumhare or you know uske. There will be K. Yeah. yeah. I just want to make sure that it's clear because I saw like apka in the comments in the chats, and I want to make sure that it's you K. That people know why it's K. But now explain the reason why it's K and not K. You're the professor. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want it to be overlooked. But what? Because of the the the, okay. the like cold, the the hidden. You know, it's a it goes in the bleep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? That's a good one. Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't, I don't know. No, no. You're saying like, op is op and two more and two more like treated as plural. So then, directly, it goes into a bleep. Thanks, Rita. Is that a ghost code? That's right. There is a hidden code. Yeah, the ghost code. That's right. There is a hidden code that is not written there. You don't see it, but uh, that's why it's like "apka ghar" is your house, but it changes into an oblique case. "Apke ghar." That's why I don't say "apke ghar." You don't say "apke ghar ko nahi aungi" or "apke ghar mein nahi aungi." Okay, Sarah ji, you are saying something. Oh, I 
Um, so basically, verbs of motion like jana and ana, um, which will come across, um, they have something which Rupert Snell called a ghost post position uh, with the destination that you're going to. That's right. And that's why the destination is in the oblique. Yes. Because there is a, a hidden goal there. So right. just remember that the rule is that this happens with verbs of motion, and then that explains why. <laughs> Very wonderful, right? Now, what could be the 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 the, the reason here, Shira? You want to fill out the sentence before that as well. Um, just talking about the reason that I am. I walk in two days. My brain's fried this afternoon. Why wouldn't I come to your house? Um, Why? Let's say you say. Me, me, me. Um, I'm going to the shop, so I won't come to your house. Yeah. Me, you can. Aungi. You can go Aungi. Okay. No, say me. I'm going to the shop. So present continuous. So me, I, I, I see her. Okay. I see her. Going right. I am going to the shop. So, my dukan. My dasi ko. Ja. Present continuous. Ah, uh, dasi dasi ko. Very good. My dukan ja rahi hu. Ah. Uh. Isliye, my apke ghar nahi aungi. Okay. Or it could be. It could be. Um, yeah. Oh my. Um. Uh, yes. The you said I won't come to your house, mm -hmm. and the person answered I will not. Come. Same thing. That's a negative one. We won't. So if you have to say won't, how would you say I won't come? Same thing. You will say the same. I will way. not come. Exactly. Is it? Exactly same way. Okay. Yeah. Exactly same way. I will not come or I won't come. Exactly same way. Right. I am going to the shop. That's why I will not come to your house. Or I am very busy. Or I am very busy. That's why I will not come to your house. Or आप बहुत मीन है एंड दैट्स वाई और इसलिए मैं आपके घर नहीं आऊंगी राइट द रीजन कुड बी एनी थिंग राइट यू नो बट और वॉट यूर सेंग द रिजल्ट इज इन दिस केस द सेम थिंग वेन यू वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन द रीजन एंड द रिजल्ट टू गैदर यू विल एंड यूजिंग इसलिए ओके विच एम्प्लाइज सो दे आर फॉर कॉन्सिक्वेंटली फॉर दैट रीजन ऑल ऑफ दैम it com encompasses all of them okay i'm going to write down <clears throat> some more examples here so that way you can test your understanding okay you want to say for that reason i will uh, there was a lot of why don't you try all of them uh, there was there was a lot of traffic so i took the detour and just use the detour hindi word also detour that's fine there was a lot of traffic so i took the detour let's see uh professor claire how are you doing i hope you can hear me Okay. Uh, let's see. Who would like to try that if professor is not available? Someone who's not tried before. Risha ji, you want to try this one? There was a lot of traffic, so I took the detour. I'll help you. Okay, I promise. Ah, uh, just it. Ah, traffic ko nai pata. Okay. Just use traffic. If you don't know the word for traffic, just use traffic. अच्छा अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रैफिक वेरी गुड बहुत ट्रैफिक ट्रैफिक है इसलिए सो वन मोर टाइम बहुत देर वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रैफिक बहुत ट्रैफिक बहुत 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 ट्रैफिक 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 है और था 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 ओके इफ यू वांट टू टू से या इसलिए इसलिए सॉरी नो कीप गोइंग आई टुक द डिटूर मैं ओके 
to take is a uh, what kind of verb is it transitive or intransitive you take something right so you took it uh, so so magic magic okay tense with a transitive word so you have me along with a post position <clears throat> what is to take in hindi Lena. Very good, Lena. Okay. You take an ice cream. You know, I may ice cream later. Hun, and I want to say past tense. I took an ice cream. I took an ice cream. Li. Right. Uh, you took a detour instead of an ice cream. So it would be. Oh, this... Sorry, yeah. you're not hearing me. I was mute. Oh my god. Sorry. Wait. Keep going. Many. Many. Detour. मैंने डिटूर एंड लेट्स से यू वांट टू से डिटूर इज मैस्कुल मैंने डिटूर इट कुड बी टू थिंग्स इट कुड बी लिया और ली या वेरी गुड ओके सही वन मोर टाइम टुगेदर सर बहुत ट्रैफिक था इसलिए मैंने Okay. Now this sentence is written in past tense. That's why it can be confusing. But if you want to say it in present tense, about traffic, yeah. That's why I am taking a detour. Or you know, uh, you can say that as well. Okay. I I think this probably. Uh, let me. Uh, anyone has questions on this one? I want to make sure this is clear. There was a lot of traffic. That's why you know I I took the detour. Ashiji. Yeah. Yeah. I was just going to say, Kelly put uh, the word Sarah there. What is Sarah? So that's what my question is. Like, isn't it like if it's Bahut, it's very, but if Bahut Sarah is a lot of yeah, that... yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I didn't, but you can say both. Interchangeable. Yeah. It's um, probably not ideal, yes. but people are always correcting me when I say <laughs> yes, Bahut instead of Bahut Sarah. Don't don't listen to them. Okay, I don't don't pay too. <laughs> you can say that. Bahut Sarah traffic tha. you know but it's you know you can say interchangeably yeah i i don't see any problem with either sentence right you can say if you want to say bahut sara it's fine bahut sara traffic tha isliye maine detour liya any 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 major thing that is sort of like you know not helping you with this sentence everyone is clear sara you are feel free to unmute and share oh i was just Typing in the chat that I think "bahut sara" or "sare sari" works with countable objects. Yeah. And so traffic, you can't count. But maybe if you said there are a lot of cars, then you could say "bahut sari gari." Yes. Uh, gari ya. So um, I would also just say "bahut traffic." To be honest. I mean, it, uh, it flows. It flows naturally. But what my take is like when you're speaking in a you know colloquial way i will not put so much emphasis on like you know whether like i would rather just say it you know rather than you doubting in your mind that would be my preference so it as this was naturally about traffic tha isliye maine detour liya but you know hindi speakers also they are not really paying that much attention when they're saying it like you know there is a number of cards or if there is a count or not but grammatically what sara is saying is absolutely correct like you know you can count the the things like bahut sari gaadiyan hain uh main detour le raha hu right uh, <clears throat> okay anyone else okay maybe i have a question actually yeah. asuji yeah go ahead. um would the hindi word for detour be uh a gumavdhaj rasta like a You know, I would simply say, I, I, I would simply no, I would not make it complicated. I would say, मैंने, मैंने, दूसरा, अ दूसरा रास्ता. That's right. I would make it simple. Okay. I मैंने दूसरा रास्ता लिया. Okay. दूसरा, Thank you. दूसरा रास्ता is nothing but alternative route. That's what that's what it will mean. Okay. Let's say some more example. Yeah, go for it. No, sorry. My patli gali se nikal gayi. You can say that. You can say that, right? My patli gali se nikal gayi. <laughs> you can say that. <clears throat> Let's take some more examples um, of using isliye. He is sick. 
he is sick so or that's why or consequently so simple example he is taking medicine i wrote down simple example because i want to make sure everyone is coming along um he is sick so or therefore or consequently you know he is taking medicine anyone who's not tried before and finding it hard i want you to try it out and i, I promise i'll help you jane you want to try this one out he is sick so he is taking medicine and if you don't know the word hindi word for sick just use sick if you don't know the hindi word for medicine just use medicine <clears throat> i i help out i promise so when you say he is a boy vah ladka hai but he is a girl vah ladki hai so just like that if you want to say he is sick it would be okay <clears throat> alisa ji you want to try it out uh, yes sure yeah. you can hear me yeah i can hear you uh wo bimar hai okay very good isliye very good wah bimar hai aur wo bimar hai isliye isliye wo दवाई ले रहा है वंडरफुल वह दवाई ले रहा है ऑसम सी नॉट दैट हार्ड एनी वन एनी वन हैज क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस वन वी हैव सम टाइम्स आई वॉन्ट या गो फॉर इट आई विथ दाई इज इट नॉट खाना वाई ही स्टे like you don't like you don't kneel over the 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 like you know khana is really i mean you can say that but the way kha raha hai but typically khana is like when you have like you know uh you know you you are eating a meal or something like that right i mean you you don't kneel over your sort of medicine but with that being said you know mai dawai kha raha hu you can say that right i mean but this flows naturally dawai le raha hu or you know oh, okay. yeah i heard it the other way okay yeah awesome let's take some more examples by the way we don't do the reading today uh, or listening practice today so because this one i want to finish it off uh, you know the isliye uh, so i'm going to give some more examples so that everyone is coming along uh, so let's say you know you you have this saying right so you know you how you have like in the religious saying so help me god i thought it will be good to as well learn it how do you say that in hindi now that you have learned the use of isliye how will you say so help me god someone who has not tried before dona ji um isliye bhagwan वेरी गुड अमेजिंग ओके इसलिए भगवान मेरी मदद कीजिए और मेरी मदद करो इधर बेस वाइन बट अमेजिंग लाइक यू जस्ट इट जस्ट केम टू यू विदाउट एनी any 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 kind of hesitation or problem there's amazing isliye bhagwan meri madad karo aur bhagwan meri madad kijiye any questions on this one i don't get that last one the i i'm just not seeing why it's isliye there so so not so, like in for that I, let's I, say I just, you you know I, i don't know the full text of it but my understanding is in the you know you say a bunch of things and then you say so help me god right so you you can definitely say bunch of reasons behind it but this is after that for that reason help me god isliye bhagwan meri madad kijiye you can if you want to simply say help me god completely fine right you can say bhagwan meri madad kijiye or bhagwan meri madad karo but you know you want to express the reason first and you want to conju- uh, you know connect it with a conjugation so then you will you know as even in english you will use the conjugations conjunction so right and that's why you will use isliye 
But which part is throwing you off, Kelly G? That why do we have so here? I don't know. It just sounds funny to me. It's yeah. like I'm not, there's some. It's kind of more like uh, therefore. That's why God will will you help me or I don't know. It just doesn't. I can't quite get the. Uh, but it's okay. Yeah. Anyone else would like to help here? Uh, I promise to be faithful to the president and monarchs. Therefore, help me, God. Yeah. Yeah. Do this. Okay. Anyone else? We say that all the time in the US. Yeah. That's what I, I mean, I, 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 I read, like, you know, you say it all the time and you don't really say that the, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know the text that comes before that, but you know, this is pretty common, right? So help me God, right? So, okay, let's do some more examples. And then I, my, my hope is that at least like you will be able to to spot and identify, you know. Uh, oh, I see. You know, I think when I think of Islie, I think more of, and uh, that's why, instead of therefore. I don't know. Sometimes I think I, yeah. So all of them, right? It is used in therefore, so, consequently, uh, as a result, or for that reason. You know, Islie is used even though we are talking about coordinate, subordinate and correlative clauses, Islie fits into good number of them. But for the most common one is the, the, the second sentence, which is as a result of first one. Okay, that's the most common one, but it does fit into many buckets, Islie, for that reason. Yeah. Um, that's why she's saving money. I'll do the last one. Okay, that's why or for that reason. That's why she is saving money. I want all of you to try this one out. Now, the reason could be anything. The reason could be like inflation is high or, you know, uh, she, uh, she only has one job. The reason could be anything. Right? Or she, she needs to get married or, you know, she has to plan for a big vacation. The reason could be anything. But you have to say that's why or for that reason, therefore, she is saving money. So I want all of you to, to try it out. Okay. And, um, and then, you know, at least I can review your responses there. And I want folks watching on um, Facebook also, please try it out. That's why she's saving money. Okay, awesome. Who would like to answer it? Like someone who's not tried so far. Can I try? Yeah, please go for it. Go for it. Isko nahi gari karina chahiye. Okay. Or let's say Sarah ko nahi gari. Nahi. No, I said is. Okay, Sarah, no, 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 I'm trying to remember the meaning of if, if it is really hard, save. you Pach, can just say. Pachna, say. Anu, Pachna is the same. Is it the same thing? Yeah, it's the same. 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 It's the Right. Yeah, you can just use uh, save with Karna. If it doesn't, you, you know, you are relatively new with the verb and it's not coming to you, just use save and then with that, just use Karna. With okay. Karna. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Sarah ko nahi gaadi kharidni hai, isliye wo paise save kar rahi hai, aur wo isliye wo paise pacha rahi hai. Okay, either way is fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop the broadcast and I'll take any final questions from you guys uh, for folks 
आई थिंक एश मैंशन इन्फ्लेशन बहुत ज्यादा है इसलिए वो है पैसे बचा रही है एब्सोलूटली करेक्ट ओके सो फॉर फोक्स हु वॉच लाइव एज वेल एज ऑन यू नो अदरवाइज थैंक